New Mexico. Steve has been here a time or two hunting turkeys, but neither KC or I have ever hunted Merriam's turkeys. We're here on a vast piece of public land doing a fully DIY turkey hunt as fellers who come from a rare spot in the U.S. where wild turkeys do not exist. We may be novice turkey hunters, but we have grit and we exercise something that I believe should be an entire class required in elementary schools, problem solving. We're gonna ask ourselves questions and throw out hypotheticals until we learn enough to get our shot. Pacific is going to have fun for you. Yeah, I know. Let's go, dude. Whitetail hooves, no less. Those are. Those Some are... whitetail sheds right here. That gum, man. This place is awesome. Oh, perfect. Oh, my goodness. It's six foot, dude. <laughs> dude, it is on the dot. This is going to be awesome, dude. This... Watch out for the blue pumpkin. It's pretty cool, man. It's uh, I've never hunted Merriams, so I don't know like how they behave or you know any of that stuff. Like we're gonna have to kind of figure this out on the fly a little bit. I know you guys watched some videos the other day and yeah, learned a couple things about the fly down and different things like that. Right? The mountain bird thing seems to me like this is all secondhand info, right? We're just first off, we aren't turkey hunters. <laughs> we want to shoot some turkeys. It's different, right? So. But it looks like these birds roost. I almost said bed comes up because I'm a deer hunter. But they roost in these tall ponderosas and they pitch out to the hillside. So you don't hunt in the bottom. If you're smart, you hunt on the hillside kind of perpendicular to the bird. 80 yards away or yeah. whatever. Yeah. That way he pitches out and he's like real, he's pretty much on you. Now, there's a thing in the daytime where. Uh, Apparently, Marians move around a lot, like they are in motion. I'm all about that. And so, you just find you a hill that maybe has a saddle or a, a you know a point that you can cut the corner off of or whatever. Mm -hmm. and about you could sit there if you know there's birds in there and have a tom come by. And I'm all about it, dude. Like I don't have to do the decoy set. No. I'm all about smoking. Hey, I'll shoot them out the air too. I don't really care. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> uh, very possibly. There's a track right there, Greg. Come on here. I mean, I think these have to be some tracks right, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's definitely over track. Right there. Yeah. yeah, that's right, that's right. A wild horse. A wild I horse. I don't know. Keep dragging me away. All I see is a horse. Yeah. yeah. Ow. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Just, thing's kind of a jerk. Fronts are already looking yeah. nice. He's gonna be a monster. Let's go up another quarter mile and do it again. Deer and elk tracks everywhere, dude. Let me get it. Oh, oh, oh. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Did you hear it? Uh huh. Gosh, I don't know. It's pretty far into private, though, right? It's public again, right up there. 
That bird's liable to be on public right now. Can we go a little closer and yeah. it again? Hard to get to. Is it on public though, you think? Um, just depends on where he's at. Let's see if we can get him all better. It might be more than one. That sounded a lot louder. Ah, ah, ah! He's out good. right there, right? That's right, what, right over the there. Three yeah. dead trees right in there. Something, but I think he's on the other side. I do don't too, you? for sure, yeah. Oh my goodness, I get to mark a tom turkey. A gobbler, sorry. Gobbler. Somewhere up in there. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Dead gum it, dude. Let's go find another one. For real. There's a elk right there. Oh, That's, what it was. That's probably what it was. Guaranteed. That's what it was. It sure was hard to get to sleep that night, but the morning came quick and chilly. So our cameraman Michael had found some birds while we struggled through the learning stages of hunting public mountain turkeys. The gobblers he had found were so hard to get to that we bought him a tag and told him go get after them. Scouting for Casey and Tyler out here out west has officially turned me into hunting out west. I don't know how it happened. I think I just eventually wore Casey and Tyler down. And they were sick of hearing about turkeys. They were sick about hearing the turkeys I found. And they were just like, you know what? We'll just get you a tag. Go hunt.
Trip's getting a little bit long. It's got a couple days and we don't really have a bird roosted right now. So I'm gonna go for a walk. See if we can hoot one up. Hey, the motor's flipped his car, hit it out. What? Yep, he just crawled the leg up. Dear yeah, Lord, we're thankful for the safety of Michael. We care a lot about it, each other, and uh, it's uh, all fun games. But we realize that uh, there's some danger involved in what we do, and uh, thank you for preserving him through this. Uh, help us to get through this pretty easily, and uh, be able to just get back to normal pretty quick. And uh, we're thankful for him and how hard he works. And we just ask that you bless us all through this situation. Uh, and you be glorified in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's hard to explain the feeling of fear as you race to a friend's car accident with no context as to how bad it is. Thankfully, Michael made it out with hardly a scratch, and after the adrenaline settled some, he grabbed a camera and hopped in the back of the buck truck to film as we headed out that evening to try to find more birds.
guy, he was kind of acting weird, so I was, I was gonna let him, I was gonna let him gobble, but he was just acting weird, and I was like, you know what? And he stuck his head up and like put it back. Yeah, I was like, wait, I haven't heard anything over here. Dude, we just killed a Merriam's gobbler, dude. Right off the roof. Flew right to us. I've never seen that happen. I thought that would happen, but I didn't know for sure because he was kind of angled uphill the whole morning. I thought, he's gonna go. When that hen came down, I was like, oh, money in the bank, dude. I was, oh, I was filming him when he was in the tree right there. I heard the whoo, whoo, whoo. I was like, wait, where's that bird coming from? Hey, dude, we just killed a Merriam's, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did not know if this would happen this year, dude. Praise God, man. What a blessing. Folded him up, dude. He ain't yeah. even flopped. Didn't flop. Stop the flop, baby. <laughs> I think I see a dead turkey down there. <clears throat> so there was two birds. And this close one I thought was there. And then I saw the one further. <clears throat> I was like, oh, I guess they're further away. I thought that there might have been two birds for most of the morning. But they never would gobble like at the same time. Dude, I'm shaking. I mean, we were coming up in the dark. Yeah. I was like, dude, I think I am a spin. When you said that, when he, when we were walking up, I was like, oh, he's a lot closer than <laughs> That's the place that they would fly down, you know? I just didn't know the whole morning because I knew he had, like, he had a few limbs in the way and a couple of treetops that I was like, ah, he might, he might just pitch straight off, you know, right down into the timber. And when that hen came out, I was like, ooh, yes. <laughs> oh, dude. I, uh, I'm not like a... I probably killed a dozen turkeys. I'm not like a turkey hunter. I just go when I have a chance ever since I was a kid. My dad took me. <clears throat> so I don't know how all the things go that people get weird about with turkeys, you know. I think they're awesome, but I just go and hunt them and try to kill them, you know. And uh, so I don't know, like, I know some people step on their heads, some people grab them by the head and, like, hold the windpipe or whatever they do. They must know. Yeah. I guess they could hear it flopping. Mate, I didn't I didn't want us to call once they mm -hmm. called because I was like, you know what, if he wants to go that way, he can go that way, it ain't no big deal. And that, that hand pitched down away from them for what it, for what it's worth. Definitely an area that it should have pitched down. <laughs> hey, that's the way to do it, man. I'm telling you. Let's go. First of all, but Hey, the hen flew down to like 15 or less, probably. Was there not two gobblers? I don't, I don't think so. Only ones we saw was a hen. I didn't even see her. We were close, dude. I didn't realize how close. There was a turkey in that tree. A gobbler, I thought. Are you sure? No. I'm not sure. We were sitting like right there. I saw a fan and hen, or a fan and turkey. Yeah, he was, he was, he was here. Okay, well there was a gobbler up there where we were that flew down to y'all too. Oh, that was a hen. Uh uh. They well, fly down, they fly down right behind each other. Like, the hen flew down, and before she, about the time she hit the ground, the gobbler pitched out. She legit flew like twice as far okay. as you mean. So, that was the gobbler we were on. The hen flew down to you, but there was another gobbler. I couldn't tell. I'm I, pretty sure. The only reason I say that, dude, he is, was he was literally at 60. I thought he was about 80 or 100. He was when it started getting light, I could see him just. We could hear him spitting. His... Oh, we were like 30 from him. <laughs> yeah, the Greg probably got him flying down. Dude, here's a, here's a theory. Mm -hmm. The hens are taking these gobs away from the call. Yeah, absolutely. But grant, granted, this is the spot where they would come down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know for sure, but we're sick. Dude. I tried to we tried to we tried to make him gob gobble I when saw he got you. down, but they were being weird. I, I saw you. I saw him shooting. I I could uh, I saw him lit, and I was like, and then I heard y'all call. I was like, y'all were way closer than I thought you were. <laughs> yeah. Like when you called, uh, I thought he would gobble. Mm -hmm. He didn't. So I was like, hey, make him do the thing, and he kind of started gobbling or uh, calling. And I, I was like, he ain't gonna gobble. He's getting kind of, kind of, kind of got a little weird. Mm -hmm. But the hen was like, she started moving away from us because she, mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't like super hidden. And I think she either saw us or combination, but I was like, all right, are you on him? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, pow. <laughs> I was like, aim low and right because that's where my shotgun was better. <laughs> it didn't work good. <laughs> yeah. 
smoke. Dude. He didn't, he didn't flop until like we fell I know. Over. I thought I was going to fall over. And he never moved. And I was like, dude, Mariams don't have big beards. No. But he's got like a decent beard going here. I think really. you shot it off. Yeah, I did shoot it off. I just saw it. Did I shoot it off? Alright, this is the clown show right here. <laughs> I know it's in there, I saw it flopping around. There it is, dad gummit. Golly, I was <laughs> I was like <laughs> holding my breath. <laughs> I you swear I saw that dude. I was like, he has to be a bearded turkey. I know. I definitely. I mean, that's like a that's a six or seven inch beard, you know. Yeah, that's, that's cool. What dude. His fur look like. They're all right. All right, so he's a younger bird, but yeah. dude, who come gives on, a hoot? Come on, <laughs> Mariel's dude is awesome. Oh yeah. And I don't, you know, spurs are kind of like a. I mean, he ain't Jake. No, fan. he's got a full fledged. Fan. He's probably a two year old bird, I guess, huh? I don't have a clue. I kind of wonder in, in Rocky Country. If their spurs don't get super long, well, look spurs at are also genetic, from what I understand too. Okay, like he could be an old bird, and that's just what he's got. So, I mean, you can see that just white dust on his. He's a big dog. Dude. Like this dude's. Just... Me, can I pick him up? Yeah, dude. I'm gonna tell him he's playing weight because they're supposed to be a little smaller. Yeah, he's not an eastern, but dude, he's. I mean, that's, he's just, a, that's a mature. That's I mean, as big, a, as a, uh, big enough tom as a Rio for sure. <laughs> God, <it. laughs> I can't believe it. Isn't it wild that that sound comes out of that little beak? It was cool to hear him like at the end of his gobble he had like this little, little like, rasp yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah, he had some weird stuff going on. It's cool when you're that close you can hear all the different dynamics of what they're actually, they sound like. His tips are all worn down on his wing feathers. Yeah, well I, that's kind of part of like if you look at these things they're super rounded. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you he's just hitting rocks, you know, a lot. Who knows man. I, Not that... Uh, I, I care at all. I know, that's how I am. I mean, I'll shoot a, I like talking I'll shoot about a 100-inch deer. <laughs> I'll shoot a two-year-old Tom. I'll shoot a Jake. I don't even care, man. I just, this is cool. Talking about the details is cool, but they shooting a turkey in the mountain. I know, dude. <laughs> I know. 